friends. I come here today to talk to you about my deep case of nostalgia overdose. All right, so this is an interesting topic that I wanted to talk about because I think I'm still forming an opinion on it. I haven't quite gotten to where I want to go, but I'd like to talk a little bit about it. And I'm going to try to avoid some spoilers, but things are obviously out of the bag. I think everybody and their mom knows that Luke Skywalker has been in The Mandalorian and Boba Fett. So, And it's not so much the plot or any of those type of details that I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is the CGI that they're using to resurrect these characters. So it's very strange to me as I watch these shows, I find myself unsettled. I really did enjoy, again, spoilers, warning for everybody here, the end of Mandalorian Season 2. Uh, I had that moment. Now, I wasn't bawling my eyes out, but I definitely was uh, moved, let's say, to see... Luke Skywalker, come rescue baby Grogu one more time, or at least, you know, get that one one more time of that character coming to see him. Especially, I think some of the fans have been concerned over the portrayal of Luke Skywalker. That's also not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about is the fact that are these corporations baiting us with nostalgia bait just to keep our eyes glued to it? And then how I felt when I saw the reappearance of Skywalker... And I found out a few different things. Uh, besides the fact that obviously there was a stand-in and CGI used, and clearly, you know, they tried to do a better job this time with the CGI, so it looked a little less wonky. But I found that they uh, they used a an AI and a voice synthesizer to produce his voice, which I found really disturbing because the voice had none of the emotional inflection. And I just, I don't know where we're headed with all of this. I think back to the Avengers, or at least I think it's Avengers Age of Ultron, where they had Tony Stark de-aged, and he looked like himself from those older 80s movies that he was in. And I was really blown away by that. I thought that was amazing. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. I think that's when they still cared about the CGI or they were still willing to budget their time to get CGI. There's a whole issue with CGI now where the timing on it, the demands of the of the studios is too great and there's not enough studios to, to do it properly so you get wonky CGI. We always make fun of the Infinity Wars where you have <laughs> Bruce Banner's head floating on top of the Hulkbuster. It doesn't really look right. Then you get things like Captain Marvel, where they de-aged Samuel L. Jackson. And while Samuel L. It looked okay. I don't think it looked fantastic. Uh, it looked passable. But then you have an old man, Samuel L. Jackson, who's still a badass. But clearly an older man who cannot perform the physicality that they were looking for in the role. So anytime the man was running, it looked really it looked really difficult. And this isn't the first time that they've been doing this, right? Because I took you back a couple Marvel movies, but we could go back even further, and we could talk a little bit about probably where it started. We have Tron Legacy, if any of you remember that. We had a de-aged Jeff Bridges playing whatever the hell the name of that character was in Tron Legacy, and it just looks like a cutscene from a okay uh animation you know like uh like a b-roll of a uh any type of video game you've ever seen like an okay like a like a step up video game not a great one like animatrix level now granted i believe that was 2010 and here we are 12 years later i don't remember exactly when this movie came out but i also want you to think back to professor x <laughs> In, I think it was the third movie where they de-aged him and he just didn't look like a real human being. All of these things are, are, are interesting. And then you get to CGI Leia in Rogue One and Grand Moff Tarkin in, in Rogue One where you have uh, an actor who's passed, who's, who's long passed, and they try to resurrect him. 
So what does the future look like for us? Are we going to see more of this as we have Luke Skywalker? Like, what are they planning on doing? It, it seems really strange to me. Here you have the show called Book of Boba Fett, where you have two episodes not pertaining, or pertaining to Boba Fett because they want to jam more nostalgia down us, down our throats. You know, Mark Hamill at this point is 70, and they need to use de-aging technology and body doubles and all sorts of things. He's supposed to be roughly 28 years old, according to this article here in The Verge. It's it's just strange. I don't really know where they're going. And I find myself, as I said in the, uh, watching the last one, disturbed by it. I found, I'm like looking at two CGI-generated characters because it seems like they've moved Baby Yoda beyond the puppet. They had a puppet that was extremely lively looking but now he's again sorry about the spoilers but he's walking around and clearly they have to do that through cgi he, he cannot walk and uh, i just I'm, I'm not sure where i feel if this is the way of the obviously they're going to keep doing this until we we push back on it but i just i feel like i'm not buying it what just recast him at this point I feel like it would be, there's been a lot of people suggesting Sebastian Stan. Clearly the guy can morph into different characters. I think he's playing Tommy Lee in Pam and Tommy. He looks good there. I like him in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And he, look, he's not the only actor. And even the guy who played a young Han Solo wasn't that bad. Like, Solo is not a great movie, but it's not a bad movie. And it's not necessarily that actor's fault that that's not a great movie. I think a lot of the plot got in the way. There's a lot of dumb plot holes. And it's overall just boring and not that snappy or witty. So what do you end up, you know, you have people trying to impersonate people. I think it's okay. I don't think we've ever even seen Luke Skywalker, per se, as a Jedi Master. We saw him come back as a full-fledged Jedi. But clearly, he could be, you know, we could get a different idea. And it could be an amalgamation. I don't really like what they did with the new trilogy of having Luke Skywalker be this ratty old Jedi, but or Jedi Master. But you could do something with it. But I think it still speaks to a greater problem here. What are we gonna do with, you know, with uh, Professor X? Is he can know? You know, would you have a do you have a CGI Gandalf if you decide to reboot things? Like, what? Where does this end? Where does? Oh, you know, what point do we lose? the soul of the actor and the performance. And I'd rather have a bad actor than bad CGI because bad CGI takes me out of it. I just remember that one point in Infinity War, like I said, when when Hulk, uh, you know, clearly they were, they had reshoots because there were toys selling the Hulkbuster where the actual Hulk burst out of the Hulkbuster, not Bruce Banner, but they changed the storyline and then they must have had to make some changes and the CGI people maybe weren't ready for that. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm perturbed. A little disturbed. Just not sure how I feel about it. I know, I know I don't like it. And I know I don't, I, I really, it's weird though, because I really like Tony Stark, but that was the same actor playing himself. And I didn't mind Samuel L. Jackson so much. But something about this disturbs me, and something about it seems like it's nostalgia trying to, they're trying to pull some heartstrings that uh, maybe are dead at this point. Maybe I'm just dead to the world. How did you feel about it? Were you disturbed? Do you think this is an ongoing trend that will not end? What will take it to end? Will they start resurrecting the corpse of Madonna to play uh, in that new... Aren't they doing a new League of Their Own movie? I know Madonna's had quite a bit of surgery, so she looks... She doesn't look like Madonna anymore, but she looks like a different human being. Are you going to CGI her back? <laughs> I just, I think it, it sets a bad precedence. You know, I know this even steps back. It relates to the holograms where people were complaining that they had like a hologram of Tupac. You know, at what point does it just become a nostalgia bait or a cash grab and not even really what it was meant to be? So technology, it's coming. Are we boomers? Are we falling like the boomers? Are we starting to think that this stuff isn't for us because hey, we're not like a new technology. Or is this really a corruption of the human spirit and soul? Mmm. Didn't think I'd hit you with that, did you? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to know from you. Uh, in the meantime, please check out our full-length audio podcast. You can catch it on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places. 
You can also catch our live streams Friday nights, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, 7.30 p.m. Catch us there. And for now, I am on to the next one. Thank you.